The following segment is sponsored by University of Utah Health. As kids are back in school for another year, it's time to set them up for success both academically and medically. Jessica is here from the University of Utah Health to share how we can best help our kids. Welcome to the show, Jessica. Thanks so much for having me. Of course, it's great to see you. Okay, what are some best practices for back to school? Let's maybe start with pointing out fun aspects of school and why this is so important. Well, you know, school is a really fun time for kids to reconnect with their friends, to engage in social activities. You know, over the summer, a lot of our kids are just kind of hanging out at home, yeah. doing their own thing. So it can be really nice to get back into a pattern, back into a schedule and reconnect socially. Oh, it's so true. Okay, what about developing a healthy sleeping routine? This sounds nice. And this is a real challenge for parents. And I, I really feel for parents who have, you know, over the summer, let their kids sleep in, stay yeah. up late. This is a real challenge. And so we recommend incrementally changing the sleep schedule. So if you want your child to go to bed at nine, but they've been staying up until 11, let's drop it back 15 minutes a day and not just do a hard restart. And although this is very unpopular with kids, if we can have parents try to keep a consistent sleep schedule also during the weekend, it makes Mondays much easier. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, just do it all week long. Yeah, and okay. it's a challenge. And so it's close to that as, as parents can. Okay, that makes sense. And why is turning off electronics before bed so important? We hear this all the time, like turn sure. it off half hour, hour. How long do we need to do this before bed? So best practice is an hour. And it's not so much because of blue light. It's really just to reduce the incoming stimuli. Mm. And we know that kids are constantly connecting with one another. And so it's also to give up your brain a break so that your, our systems can start to slow down. And kids have a lot going on and they really seek support from their friends and we want them to support their friends but we wanna shut that down in the evening so they can go to bed with a clear mind. Sure, be able to wind down easier. Exactly. Um, if our kids are feeling anxious, we can create a coping kit. What is that and what should we include in it? It's a, it's a great question because it really depends on the kid and it depends on their age, right? So for a seven-year-old, it might be appropriate to have a coping kit that maybe has a picture of their parents, maybe a little stuffy. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe something that um, you know they got from a, a grandparent for their birthday. For older kids, Sometimes it's a picture of someone meaningful to them, quotes. A lot of older kids really like quotes or something to keep their hands busy as well. Okay. We think about a coping kit as like a little gift to ourselves mm -hmm. to use in the future when we're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Those are helpful tips. Okay, and what are some signs that parents should look out for to, you know, if our kids are needing that extra professional help? It's a great question. A lot of parents aren't quite sure where the line is. Mm -hmm. And so what we'd recommend is parents know their child best. And so if your child, say, used to be really talkative and had a lot of friends, but now you see them socially withdrawing, that would be cause for concern. If your student is normally earning straight A's and now they're pulling C's, that would be cause for concern. So what we, when we warn parents is when there's a distinct change in the overall functioning. And kids are going to have ups and downs, but it's a really distinct and lasting change. That's, that's so when, true. That's when we ask parents to seek professional help. Well, and that's a good point too. We all know our kids. So just to pay attention yeah. to those signs and look for that, that's yes. really helpful. Yeah. Okay, and we can go for more information at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much, Jessica. That was really helpful. Help our kids just get through that school year a little easier. Thanks Thank so much.